Today, we are going to build a bunch of apps super quickly using my Unify class and cursor ID. Let's just begin. I will use the control K command from cursor and refer to the unify.py file and simply ask to create a simple chat app. And just like that, in 22 lines of code, we have our app ready. You can now run this and just talk to the model. Default model is Cloud 3.5. But what if we wanted this to be a streamlit app? Okay, I will repeat the process. Control K, refer to unify.py. I'm going to ask it to create a basic streamlit chat app. And just like that, in 41 lines of code, in a few seconds, we have our streamlit app. Let's run it. Our app is starting. Here is our app. Let's now start talking to the AI. Here we go. This time, I'm going to copy the basic streamlit app into the choice streamlit app. I'm going to Select everything, control K, refer to the unified class so we know the model knows what we're dealing with. Okay, we're going to ask you to allow users to choose their models from a drop down. Now we are going to actually modify this. And we're going to accept it. And now uh, this is automatically live. All we have to do is just refresh this. So we have to actually change the file name and rerun it because we created this in a new file name. And now we can select OpenAI and GPT-4, GPT-3.5, Open Router, Google Gemini, or even Anthropic. Let's talk to Opus real quick. See, now we have our uh, model selection ready, just like that. And we can go back to Gemini and talk with Gemini, continue the conversation with Gemini. So we already built three apps, and it took about uh, two minutes, maybe less than that. All of this is possible quickly because of my Unified APIs app. Uh, every app that we built here, along with the unified APIs, the unified.py file will be available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description. Let's try another thing. What if we want to have multiple responses from all models being displayed at the same time, for example, rather than one by one? Again, I'm going to control K it and refer to the choice uh, file that we have created plus the unified file. Okay, let's go ahead and allow it to generate. I said, don't allow model choice, but get outputs from all and display them. Uh, just get, get, get responses from all models and display them in their respective columns. Go ahead and run our app. And here is our app, multi-response chat. And now when we say hi, we actually get going to get responses from all three models. Anthropic, OpenAI, uh, Cloud 3.5, GPT-4.0, and Gemini 1.5 Pro. Let's ask them how many R's in strawberry. And uh, OpenAI, GPT-40, got it right. It said three R's. Gemini thought only one R, and 3.5 Sonnet thought there's only two R's. So this, we can build this up, for example. By the way, we are using Cursor ID to make all this happen. And if you're interested in using Cursor ID, which I highly recommend, do check out my 1000X Masterclass. I have over five hours of video content, building real-time apps. I mean, apps in real-time, along with their project files spread across 15 links. Next masterclass will be in the description as well. Okay, let's not stop here. And actually, let's turn these into maybe fast API full-stack web apps. For that, we will actually use the composer. Let's try the composer. It is already referring to the multi-response streamlit app because we were already we have that open already, but you can actually refer to any files by clicking this plus. Anyway, okay, I have given my instructions. Actually, let's refer to the unified as well, just in case. And then now we can just press enter. My instructions was please convert this to be a beautiful fast API app using Days UI for styling. Main page should be index.html, main.py should be in working directory. Cursor Composer can create multi-file apps. Now it's currently working on main.py and index.html. It's like an agent-like system, which allows you to build multi-file apps such as uh, full-stack web applications. Okay, the uh, Composer was done and it created index.html on a static folder and main.py and I ran it. So currently the server is running. This is the app that it was able to build. Let's just say hi. And we are getting responses from all three models. You can ask the composer to in, uh, have light, dark mode. Uh, dark mode is default and allow it to modify the content. You can not only create multi files, but actually you can modify it too if you want to learn how to use it. 
I highly recommend my 1000x masterclass and the link is in the description. Okay, the changes are applied. Let's accept all. And when we refresh, now we have light and dark mode switches, although the light mode switch doesn't seem to be working. It quickly ask it to fix it. Dark mode works well, but toggling doesn't work. Now it shall fix it. Okay, and after it's fixed, now our modes are working. Let's ask which model are you? Okay, yeah, they are all, this, this part is incorrect, but yeah, they can hallucinate, but they are all from their respective providers. Now let's not stop here and let's try multi-model. Okay, enter chat. Let's use the control K for this. And actually let's refer to the uh, choice Streamlit app for this. And of course, refer to Unified. Ask it to recreate this with TK Inter with beautiful styling. Since it already has access to choice Streamlit app, it should be able to interpret this in, uh, Streamlit app into a TK Inter app. Let's see. As you can see, the code the uh, lines of code for these are very short. That's possible because of unified.py file. We'll talk about the contents of this shortly, but you can download it from my Patreon. Link is in the description. Of course, all the apps that we have built here will be available as well. Let's go ahead and accept this. Actually, you can run this app without accepting it uh, because you can do follow-up instructions. Let's try that. Here is our Entropic and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Let's say hi and everything seems to be working, but we are getting responses from all three. We can fix that. You say we only want responses from the selected model. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just doing a follow-up. It is quite a lot of creativity, which you can do, do with uh, cursor. We haven't even touched the uh, uh, chat functionality yet, and I don't know if we will, but uh, I go into great detail in my 1000X masterclass. Okay, now we have fixed it. We are getting the responses from the proper models. There we go. It's not very beautiful, but TK inter interfaces hardly ever are. And here we go. So we have replicated that in TK inter. Let's go ahead and accept this. And I think we are done with this one. Let's actually convert the uh, multi response streamlit app into a Gradio app because we can do that. Multi let's select that. Let's refer to the Unify. Let's ask it to convert this to a Gradio app. And let's run it without accepting. I just use pip install Gradio. Okay, it made it well like this, but let's actually restart it. And when we say hi, we are getting responses all from all three models, but they're being displayed li like this. We can actually, we can also delete and clear as well, but maybe we can give it a uh, additional instruction. It also cached some stuff. I'm not sure why it did that, but uh, we can say display each model's response in a separate column and allow it to rewrite. Okay, now we are seeing the columns. And now when we say hi, we should get responses from all three of them. And we can also clear it as well. Let's go ahead and accept this since I'm going to be making it available at the end of the video. Now let's go back to the basic chat and actually take a look at some of the more nuanced uh, features of the Unified API. As you can see, this is where we are importing Unified APIs from Unified and we're initializing it here. And we are using async. We didn't actually have to use async. We can actually go back to the regular chat method, for example, and don't get rid of this use async. You can, uh, and we don't need this to be an async function. And we don't need async IO, and we can just run it regularly. You can give a pro, uh, you can choose a provider. For example, if you the default provider is Anthropic and Cloud 3.5, but you can choose OpenAI. Its default model is uh, GPT 4.0, and when you run it, you are able to speak with uh, that model. But we can also pass in a model parameter, and we can actually select GPT 4.0 Mini, for example and rerun this app. And now we'll be speaking with GPT-4 or Mini, for example, much faster. Other features are, for example, mix words per message. I can actually set this to anything I want. Sometimes you don't want your chat bus to be so verbose, so I can actually set this to three. This is a soft instruction that gets added to the each user message. For example, now when I say, how are you? It should respond only with three words. If I were to set this to one and run it again, and ask the same question. Uh, it's just responding with one word. 
And if I were to set this to 10, for example, and rerun it and ask it to tell me a story, usually it will tell me a really long story, but now it's limiting it to 10 only. You can also limit the mixed history words to, for example, just three. Okay. This means that it will automatically trim the message history. For example, if I say my name is Echo, and then if I say hi, and then if I ask what is my name, it should have forgotten it because we only set the mixed history words to three. So quite a lot of stuff that you would uh, actually have to take care of yourself is taken care of by this simple uh, class. I hope you enjoyed this. Now let's take a look at how I built unify.py and don't forget, unify.py and along with all the apps that we built will be available in my patreon also if you're interested in learning the code fast uh, i do i do highly recommend my 1000x masterclass like i said there's over five hours of content spread across 15 chapters each one of them being a unique project that i built from scratch uh, each zip file includes the video plus the project files such as Building Swarm Intelligence, Universal Chat, Persona Generator, and many more includes Next.js projects as well. So I will include a unified README markdown file, which you can actually view and uh, learn about how it works. Multi-provider support, flexible model selection, asynchronous and synchronous operations, streaming mode or not, if you choose, chat history management, system message customization. We forgot to talk about, but you can also Turn JSON mode on. It has an auto retry mechanism if API failures. Maximum message words limits the number of words per message, and you can also clear the history. So I guess we forgot to talk about JSON mode. We set the JSON mode true, and we would have to, of course, then set the system message to you know always return in JSON format as just like that. Now if we run this now. Because when you said JSON mode, you do have to mention the word JSON. Now it should only respond with a JSON object. So it works great. And let's take a look at it. As you can see, I, by default, am using GPT-40, Cloud3, latest Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, and Gemini Pro 1.5 from Open Router. You do need the API keys for each one of them. And it auto detects API keys directly from environment variables, or you can insert them here or you can call this method and actually define it yourself. So we have some attributes we are initializing. Makes us three words. Words is automatically set to 10,000. So these are the parameters we can pass, but it has uh, some interesting features such as uh, the chat method. You can just call with a user input and it automatically sets it as a role user, for example. There's an async method for each method as well. We have a trim history function, which trims it while also ignoring the system message. The get response method actually takes in a bunch of keyword arguments. So you can set max tokens and all of that as you like. It actually checks which provider we are using and sets the system messages properly because the system message for Anthropic is passed as a uh, API call argument. And I have turned on the beta anthropic beta mix tokens for 3.5 sonnets. So this will actually output 8k up to 8k tokens. So that is that is that is good. Also for open router. Now we can handle the streaming responses if streaming set to true. Otherwise, we can return the responses regularly. The same method also have an async functionality. And maybe. You may have noticed I actually, uh, I, should, I would like to mention at the end of it, I just put a doc string instructions for AI using Unify. So I just gave it some simple instructions where it would otherwise sometimes make mistakes. So you can actually do that. And when I refer to the file with control K, as we have done before, let me do this again with the add command, then it, auto, not a, it, it includes the instructions at the bottom. So this is like a pretty cool way of using it like this. So that's that's about it. You can build a class like this yourself too. I just took the time and build it the way I thought would work best, but you can of course uh, customize it, whether you build it yourself or download it. Like I said, all the code files will be available at my Patreon. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoy my videos, you can always check my website, echohive.live where you can find all my videos along with the code download links if you're a patron for example you can actually watch this unified api where i reviewed the unified api class 
uh, much in detail. Uh, here we go. And when you become a patron, you'll also have access to my courses, along with my, of course, 1000X Masterclass. I also have just introduced patron perks. When you become a patron, you actually get discounts to other useful platforms. The first one is Boring Launch. They're giving away $70 to my architect level patrons. They actually list your startup to 100 plus platforms, so you don't have to lift a finger. And the Connoisseur patrons get $40 from them. The link for this is in the description. There's two other discounts. We're exciting discounts on the way, so keep checking. Also, at my Patreon, I have every week one-on-one -on -one meetings with my architect-level patrons where we do AMA and live coding sessions. My patrons really enjoy that. So if you become an architect-level patron, you'll be able to join those too. The next one is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Los Angeles time. And if you were really interested in talking to me one-on-one, -on -one, just to chat with me, or if you needed help with your projects, I have two tiers, higher tiers on my Patreon using which you can actually get in touch with me. Check those out as well, and I'll see you in the next video.